9 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to say. I can't believe that just happened. It's a good thing I brought my bow. <laughs> We made it out to Western Nebraska. This is our first hunt of the fall. We are so pumped. Antelope with our bows. Uh, we're gonna try spot and stock. It's been pretty dry in this country lately, so brought a ground blonde. We might pop that up and sit over water. We'll just see what happens, see what we can find. But the spot we usually go, we uh, weren't able to access this year. We learned that out about five days ago, so we only had five days to pick up some new ground and we made a, a whole lot of phone calls, did some research, talked to some people and got permission on a couple different places. So should be pretty good. We're uh, hoping to find some antelope here shortly. That was super cool. I just pulled up on the top of this hill and saw two bull elk standing there. They were probably 400 yards when I first saw them and they didn't like my truck so they took off running. I bet they ran about a mile and a half, two miles before they got out of sight but that was super awesome to see that one bull. I don't know how many tines he had but it was quite a few. They're both really nice looking young bulls. That's awesome to see out here in the prairies. I don't see that very often. In fact, I've never seen them way out here so that was cool. I came over to this other spot that we have permission on and immediately glassed up a buck and six does. He's probably the biggest buck we've seen out here this year. Hopefully we can get on a stock here this morning. There's six of them heading around on the other side of this hill. They're working towards the windmill that Mike was glassing right by when he first saw him. Well, that stock didn't work. The antelope saw the decoy from about half a mile away and didn't want anything to do with it. They took off running and uh, didn't stop. They ran about two miles away, but there were six does and a buck and they really didn't have a reason to come into the decoy. So they, they didn't and uh, didn't work out, but we're gonna go check out some new spots and hopefully find some more goats. Well, we've covered about 44,000 acres of private land that we have permission on here, and we've seen 16 antelope total. So the chances of success here are pretty slim, and we're gonna make a pretty bold move and get out of here and uh, drive a couple hours to a new spot and uh, hopefully find some antelope there. We don't have any permission, but we're hoping to maybe knock on some doors and get permission some places and see if we can find success for antelope here this week. All right, quick update. We got down to this new spot. We've been driving around glass and we've seen a fair amount of antelope and I just spotted five bucks right off the road on public land and uh, we're gonna go after him. We've got about 50 minutes of daylight left. Josh is coming over here. He has a decoy and a camera. We're gonna just pop the decoy up, pop up over the hill, hope they're still there, hope they come in or, or get curious and stand there, give me a shot. We'll see how it goes. Just as we pop over the hill, the six bucks see our decoy and it instantly draws their attention. A few minutes later, the bucks get curious and run straight toward us. We got over to this public, Josh got over here, got the decoy, popped up over the hill, and they saw it. It looped all the way around and then came in running. I think there were six bucks, came in running to like 25 yards. I had to draw back super fast, get on one. When I was on, spun around and, and left, got on another one, pulled back the shot and just barely missed him to the left. But that was insane. That was crazy. Dude, that was awesome. That was fun. I was like, I was like, grab the edge of the decoy so I can film through there. And all yeah. of a sudden I look up and they're like, they're just like turning and I see antelope coming towards me. I draw back. <laughs> that was nuts. It's so funny. It's super, super. I couldn't shoot past 25 anyway. That's about where they stopped. 
After a few more days of unsuccessful hunting, our trip came to an end and our time for early season hunting had expired. Once December came around, both Josh and I had a few free days, so we decided to try antelope hunting in the cold winter weather. Only two hours into the first morning, and we already had antelope coming straight into the water tank.
figured we just shot two freaking antelope. Look at her. She's going down right there, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we just stumbled up on antelope. On the first morning. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh my god. Look at them all. Dude. It's December. It's December and we just killed two antelope. Oh my god. That worked out way better than I thought it would. In the morning. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't believe that just happened. It's a good thing I brought my bow. <laughs> look at him. Look at him going. We sat here for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> we just we killed, doubled up. <laughs> just doubled up. Killed both tags. That was insane. Can you believe that just happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here for what, two hours? Yeah, that's and, it. Uh, <laughs> two hours of the hunt. It worked out perfect. I mean, I couldn't imagine it to happen any better. Yeah. I mean, we came out here with four days get it done with our antelope tags it's december 2nd yep micah came yesterday december 1st glass in the evening just a little bit just to kind of try to see if there's some antelope around here and what you saw how many i saw two groups of 27 here close and uh two of them were right by this tank yesterday evening so i thought maybe they might be coming to this tank and uh, we made the decision to just pop up and uh, set up here this morning we have our decoy out in front of us it's kind of i don't know what five yards away from yeah, the blind probably just kind of <laughs> acting like it's bedded there and uh, our goal with that was just to not really draw them in as much but kind of just uh, make it um, seem like it's that antelope's comfortable being here that bedded one the decoy is and kind of make the antelope feel like they're a little more comfortable since this blind hasn't ever been here before it's it might shock them but since that antelope was there that decoy i think it really helped them calm down a lot and they came right in it worked out perfectly yeah, it helped a ton i mean they're focused 100 percent on that decoy yeah i mean there's a few look at the, looking at the blind but they're focused on that decoy and Mike and I were both able to get drawn back without him spooking, which I thought was crazy because there was a lot of eyes watching. Yeah, Especially yeah. when I drew back on mine. I mean, there was, what, 20 of them right here, yeah. 20 yards away. Yeah. <laughs> like, I drew back about as slow as I could. A few of them spooked, but, you know, not, not crazy. That was insane. If you would have told me that <laughs> we're going to come out here and in the first morning, in the first two hours, we're going to both fill our tags, I'd call you crazy. Absolutely insane. <laughs> I thought we'd be sitting here all day and be lucky to even see one of the antelope. Yeah, bit. it's pretty cold out today too. It's blowing about 15 miles an hour or so, and I think it's 15, 20 degrees maybe. So wind chills right around eight or 10 degrees. We were just bundled up here, and I was in my suit. Mike has got his fanatic set on, and we were talking, just not even whispering. And I thought Mike was joking. He's like, "Oh, there's antelope coming," and I was like, "Oh crap!" We didn't have the cameras ready or anything. You know, we were just sitting here trying to warm up a little bit. And I grabbed the camera and started the GoPro and got it on him, and <laughs> they just came galloping right over the hill and came right in. Yeah. And uh, you know, we weren't going to be too picky this late in the year, waiting for a buck. You know, there was that one nice buck with this group, but we were definitely going to take our opportunities when we had them in front of us. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, both our antelope are laying right over here, about 30 yards apart, but we're gonna look for my arrow hit and see if we can find mine first. You can see right there, it's where the tip hit, and uh, didn't do any damage at all. The tank's totally fine. It did pass right through and hit the tank and bounce off, but there's just a little tiny mark and no hole or anything, so the tank's gonna be fine. 
my arrow's laying right over here. Let's go check out our antelope. Pretty big, isn't she? Yeah. That's a big antelope. That is a big antelope. You made a yeah. perfect shot, man. I can't believe she even made it as far yeah. as she did. Just a hair back, but yeah, she didn't make it far. Man, they're pretty. Should we go look at yours? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> it's only like right over there. <laughs> Laying right there. I'll swap you. Yeah. <laughs> make it anywhere <laughs> holy cow yeah it did go right behind that shoulder look it cut right through it that's insane man what a gorgeous animal they died what 25 yards apart if that <laughs> that's insane after not filling our antelope tags back in September we knew we might have a little time in December to come back out here and try it out we've never hunted antelope really after September and October so we weren't sure how tough it was going to be, but thankfully this morning it, it worked out absolutely perfect. It, it was awesome, wasn't it? Oh man, it was awesome. I mean, my old man always says it's better to be lucky than good. And yeah, we definitely had some luck involved, but Micah came yesterday evening and was able to figure out that these antelope were actually here because we set up in the dark this morning. If he didn't see that, we would have had a clue. You know, we could have been sitting here all day and, and not seen an antelope. So it worked out. It did. <laughs> It's almost easier now than it is in September, so <laughs> yeah, the way be. we do it. it. Might be. I think we just got lucky though. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though. Oh, beautiful, that was awesome. Beautiful animals. Just they really are. Pretty incredible. Watching all those antelope run in and without a care in the world, they just popped over the hill and ran right towards us, right towards the tank. And I think that decoy is what really sealed the deal yeah. too. I think they would have been really suspicious if they would have just came in to get water and not had that decoy there. It's awesome, man. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Woo! 2020 Nebraska antelope.